Hey guys, I got a request in the YouTube comments to do uh, this container called Base Row. I'd never heard of it before, but basically what it looks like, they're saying it's like a low code way to do database stuff. So long story short, if you're an Excel guy and you're like, I don't know how to use databases, this seems like the kind of software it's really cool because it looks like Excel on the front end, but it's actually a database. So it kind of reminds me of like a database GUI, more or less. But I don't use it, I've never heard of it before, and somebody asked me to deploy it, so I said, you know, I'll give it a shot. Um, so the one thing we're going to need to do if we're going to deploy base row is we're going to come into our configs. And again, I always want to have host path uh, because God forbid you lose your apps for whatever reason. Um, actually, we're going to keep this generic. We're going to keep this generic. Uh, God forbid you lose anything. I don't want to see anybody lose any data. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open up these permissions just because I didn't give it a PUID and a PGID. Okay, good. So now we're wide open in our permissions. We're going to come over to our apps. Um, they don't have this, for example, on the catalog. You won't see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our app page and we're going to discover apps and we're going to do a custom YAML right there. So we're going to call this base row, just like that. Um, I'll put up the YAML on the GitHub. So this is it right here. So any yeah, on the GitHub. So anybody that needs uh, this YAML file, you'll find it on GitHub. You can just download the raw if you want. I'll put the link to the raw in the um, video description. So we're just going to come over here, do that. I made one quick problem in here. We're going to edit this. And you'll see here, I've got to make sure I've got the right server in here. So this is 191. I had it tested out of the machine. Whatever port you put down here, you also have to put down back here. I noticed if you didn't put this port here, it wouldn't work. So I'm going to save that and I'm just going to redeploy real fast. Okay, so this is what it should look like. So I think it's still saying, it's, no, we're deploying over here. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make an account. We're just gonna use nonsense. Uh, the password has to be more than eight characters. Once we're logged in, and I can skip all this. I'm saying I don't want help getting it, setting up. There we go. So now we're in the main homepage. So if anyone's used this application before, whoever's asking for this application, I hope you kind of know what to do from here. I really don't. I just wanted to show you how to get it set up and to show you that this is all indeed working. Um, for those people who want to set up, you know, all kinds of cool spreadsheets or quote unquote databases that look like spreadsheets, this is really cool. They have all this test data in here so you can start messing with it. And this is actually a database. It's not a spreadsheet, but even though it looks like a spreadsheet. So this is actually kind of cool. Um, maybe I'll play with it later. But yeah, so anyone's trying to set up base row, this is how it's done.